Hello everyone, welcome back for some good vibes and video games, and today I have another reaction video. A couple days ago, the official Hogwarts Legacy YouTube channel dropped a video called 74 Easter Eggs and Details You Missed in Hogwarts Legacy. As you guys probably know, I played through the entire game on my channel, loved every single second of it. The game and my overall experience with it is so meaningful to me personally and to my channel, but being a huge fan of the original franchise and the universe in general, obviously I'm a little curious to see maybe what I missed or I'm also just curious to see everything lumped together in one video, all the things from the original book series that they were able to add into the video game. But mostly I just wanna see what exactly I missed, if anything, cause I'm sure I missed something. There were just so many itty bitty details in the game, so many things that you could overlook that I'm sure I missed something my first time around. I know I said this multiple times throughout my playthrough, probably close to a billion times, but one of the greatest things about this game is the fact that they're able to expand on things that were depicted in the books or the movies and actually allowed us to explore it. On top of that, there were so many references and depictions in the, in the books that were not able to be put into the movies. And I think that there were a lot of things in the game that they were able to bring to life perfectly. I have a couple examples that I can think of off the top of my head, like the kitchens. The kitchens is something in the book that it is talked about so many times. I feel like there's actually an entire chapter in one of the books that is dedicated to like the background of the kitchens and all of the house elves that work there. On top of that, you had the really fun room in the dungeons that took me a while to get there, but it was the death day party, where if you go down into the dungeon by the Slytherin common room, you could find a secret door where you need Alohomora to get through, and if you keep going, you end up coming into this massive room with all of these ghosts, and they're dancing, and there's food, and that's something that I think is depicted in one of the older Harry Potter video games, but I think it's talked about in the books, but it's something that we just never got to see in the movies. I might have mentioned this earlier, I don't remember, but I'm gonna say it again because this is just my favorite thing about this game and just video games in general. When you take a movie series or a book series and you make it into a game, gaming is so amazing to me because it does something that so few mediums of entertainment are able to do. So when you're reading a book, you can really only visualize things in your own head. Everything is done through imagination and through the explanation of the author and how well they're able to use written language to paint an entire picture. And then you have movies where you're pretty much at the mercy of the director of the actors that are playing certain characters. So there's only so much that we as a reader or a viewer can imagine and explore ourselves, where when you now give us a video game of our favorite universes or our favorite book or movie series, the developers behind a video game are then allowing us to fully explore and connect the dots between certain aspects and certain areas that we were never able to do when we we're just reading or watching a movie. And that extremely long-winded explanation is exactly the reason why this game was a masterpiece for me personally. I loved being able to explore all the different areas of the map of Scotland surrounding the school and all the little hidden pieces and parts of the castle that we were ne never really able to explore in the movies or the books. Anyway, with all that being said, I'm just excited to jump in and check out this video and see basically everything that I missed, but really I just want to see all the Easter eggs and all the details laid out for me. All right, so without further ado, let's jump in. Hello everyone, I'm Chandler Wood, Community Manager here Chandler. at Hogwarts Software. <laughs> Hogwarts Legacy is filled with Easter eggs, obscure Wizarding World references, and little secrets you may oh, not yeah. have noticed. Yep. There are 74 details hidden throughout the game. Already at recognize a couple. Forest, you can see a stag across a pond, a reference to Harry's Patronus in Prisoner of Azkaban. Return to Feldcroft after finishing Sebastian's quest line to find a couple extra details I won't talk about here due to spoilers. Leander Pruitt's surname is the same as Molly Weasley's maiden name. There's a what? in a certain bathroom talking about a snake etched into a faucet. I saw that. Chamber of Loved it. Eventually opened by Tom Riddle. Love that one. Nod. During one of Sebastian's quests, you can find a note from Salazar Slytherin 
talking about the basilisk he put in the dungeons. Yep. One of the named enemy wolves <laughs> in the game is called the Grim. Named the after Grim. the omen of death that haunts Harry in Prisoner Great of Azkaban. Great edit. Have you defeated the Grim? <laughs> okay, this is one of my favorite details. Over in Hogsmeade, Bingo and Blatch has three different front doors leading to three different interiors that exist in the same space. Seriously, this one is some real game dev wizardry. <laughs> What? I need to replay the game. So there were a couple things that I definitely noticed, like there was the book up above the headmaster's office, which was basically, I think, the book for all of the brand new witches and wizards that would enter the school. I do remember coming across that one, and I loved it because there was a little tidbit in the book or the writing or something, there was something that said something along the lines of this book has been up here for so long, no one's touched it for centuries. And I remember when I came across it, I was like, until now. So that was a fun one. But there was something else. There was the tombstone in Felcroft that I don't recall that I don't recall being like a detail or an Easter egg. So my bad. Also, this could have been there. I just might not have seen it, especially if it was in more of a background situation across the pond. But I don't specifically remember seeing a stag. Like I said, I'm sure it was there. I'm positive it was there. It was something that I most likely overlooked when I saw it for the first time. That's a crazy detail. You will it fight is. a couple of acromantulas in the game. Their yes. ability to summon other spiders is a reference to Aragog being able to command spiders in Chamber of Secrets. Interesting! In Avalanche, we love Ron Weasley, and there are a few Easter eggs based on iconic Ron moments we just had to call out. Hitting a Follow the butterflies! Combat is a callback, or is it call forward, to Ron using Wingardium Leviosa to knock out a troll with its own club <gasps> and cast her stone. Yes! Oh. Yes, I definitely Ron's thought that. Are said to have been the height of fashion in 1890. <laughs> As Hogwarts Legacy takes place in the late 1800s, of course, you- I was so, 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 so happy. If you guys saw that, I don't even remember what episode out of like the 20 plus episodes that I had for this playthrough, but I remember the moment that I unlocked these robes. I was so stoked. I went straight to the hairdresser, got a haircut, made my hair orange, and walked around for all of about 20 minutes exactly as Ronald Weasley, and it was the best day of my life. That was one of the coolest Easter eggs, nods to the movies and the books. Also, going back to the spider thing, I thought that was really cool because that was just such a small, small, minute detail that yes, when they explain it, I'm like, oh, obviously, but I personally, from like the player's perspective, I didn't really see that as being intentional. So it was really cool to see that every little tiny detail was intentional. And that really goes farther and shows you how much they loved this game and how much care and attention that they put into the making of this game, which again is just so, so much more magical realizing this. Anyway, I'm sorry for gushing. You can wear them. And those ruffles served as inspiration for part of uh, my launch celebration outfit. <laughs> I don't even That's know. That's amazing. So Follow the Butterfly's quest is taken from the same line spoken by Ron in Chamber of Secrets. Yep. Why couldn't it be Follow the Butterflies? <laughs> the Transfiguration spell icon and rat cup in the Transfiguration classroom pokes fun at Ron's bungled half rat, half cup transfiguration. How do you think I saw he that? He learns it eventually, right? Remember yes. when Ron was cursed to vomit slugs? You may find a student in the hospital wing beset by the same ailment. <laughs> I missed that! I didn't see that! More details to cover. A number of locations in Hogwarts Legacy are modeled after the films, but one example you may not have noticed is the potion storeroom. Not something found Did I find that? Everyday God. Have you been to the secret werewolf room with these mysterious tapestries? Oh, yes. I used Lumos knew them, and they seem to change. How'd they do that? Professor Hecate's office is filled with clocks and mirrors, some foreshadowing- I don't know if I successfully did that and saw that the tapestries changed, so I was today years old when I learned that. ...of her unique backstory. Easily one of my favorite professors. Heading on up to the trophy room, you can find the Goblet of Fire's casket where it's stored while not in use. That was a fun day when I saw about that. Some giant squid sightings, which tend to favor those of us in Slytherin. While flying your broom- I know about this one. ...tentacles in the lake. This one's for all the houses. Did see However, that? However, the Slytherin exclusive quest has references to the squid, requiring an offering of toast to enter a secret grotto. La, la, and la, la, la. Slytherin only detail, casting magic at the windows in the common room- I do know this. ...in the squid swimming by 
by or slapping the window with its tentacles. Yeah. Speaking I wasn't a Slytherin, details, but I know about it. In the of Fire book, the Triwizard Champions meet in the portrait tower to the left of the teacher's tables, which we included. You can find a reference to Newt's Nook from Fantastic Beasts in a locked room off the Transfiguration Courtyard. Professor huh. Weasley has a collection of chess pieces, a nod to a certain future Transfiguration professor. One of my favorite locations <laughs> in Hogwarts is the secret Death Day dungeon. Yes! This area is a reference to the Death Day party. This was one of my favorites. The table full of rotten food and tombstone cake with gray yep. icing. After yep, all, the rotten food especially. Through that pungent food, you can almost taste it. The music <laughs> here includes musical saws, as described in the books, and all of the ghosts in the Death Day dungeon are dancing period-appropriate dances. Yes, this is one of my favorite Easter eggs because it's just so well thought out. Fire details. In Prisoner of Azkaban, it says the fat lady hides in the map of Argyleshire. But in the film, she hides in a safari landscape. To reference both, we put a secret portrait safe room behind the map, which contains a safari landscape painting. Oh, he's like the devil. He's gone. As an homage to modern Didn't notice that one. caretaker Argus Filch, the detention room has some subtle references to medieval discipline. In the detention room and outside of potions, there are decrees in box frames as a tribute to the film designs for Umbridge's decrees. You can also get these decrees as decorations in your room of requirements. Yes, yes, mm, yes, you can. We are in trouble. <laughs> One room holds a Gorgon portrait that will petrify you for a moment if you- <gasps> I did see that! In reference to the Rhyme of Gormless Morgan in Miranda Goshock's Book of Spells. Headmaster Black has a mirror that looks suspiciously like a chocolate frog wizard card frame. There's an author with my name. For a wizard who envisions he'll one day find himself on one of those cards. That just Slytherin made my day. And Ravenclaw have their seventh year dorms away from the rest, based on a stereotypical focus on status and seniority in these houses. There's a loose golden snitch flying around Gryffindor Common Room, a reference to James Potter stealing the snitch. I was a Hufflepuff. To play with it in the Common Room. Those <laughs> Levioso statues scattered around the castle. That's the wizard who invented the Levioso spell. There's an armchair by the That's staff room cool. fireplace. Perhaps the very same armchair in which Professor Binns expired. <laughs> You'll get squirted with vinegar if you try to enter their common room. You can get taped I've up seen glasses that. as a gear item, a reference to Harry's yep. own broken glasses in Philosopher's Stone. Yes. Oculus repair room. Here's an obscure one. Remember when Trelawney started drinking cooking sherry after Umbridge put her on probation? Glance in a vase near the room of requirement for a small nod to where the divination professor hid her bottles. The balcony attic area behind the arithmancy door no in the way. area is a space featured in the Battle of Hogwarts in the films. And directly- Again, that was something that like when I was walking through it, I distinctly remember thinking, oh, deja vu, or this looks really 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 familiar but it didn't click and i didn't realize that that was a nod to the movies seriously the more they go on with this the more my mind is blown with how much attention and care they put into this game i'm sorry i'm probably gonna say that a billion times because that is just one of the coolest things to me when they when they can do that and bring all of these aspects to life for us. Below that is the Hall of Hexes, a space seen on the Marauder's map. In fact, the Marauder's map was a huge help in building Hogwarts, and as such, our castle contains a number of small details that may only be noticed at a glance. The huh. Room of Lost Wands, Pungent Passageway, and Runic Hallway are spaces we built out and expanded on based on the Marauder's map. Yeah. The pillow outside the Ravenclaw common room insinuates that students have been unable to answer the Eagle's Riddle. Ha ha ha! The night outside the common room instead. The Daily <gasps> That's Pride savage! Is formatted in the same statement question way as other notable ones from Wizarding World fiction. The Room of Requirement and Hogwarts Legacy is chock full of Best Easter part. series references. Here are just a couple. You can get the mounted house elf heads from Black Manor and Umbridge's cat plates. Those are my favorite. Those are my favorite. I have every single one and they are everywhere in my room of requirement. And can I just say, the room of requirement was 100% my biggest addiction in the whole game. I spent so many hours decorating that room and redecorating that room and starting from the ground up and making everything disappear again and then redecorating all over again. I would love to see the stats from my gameplay with how much time was actually spent in the room of requirement versus out in the world actually doing things because I could not get over how fun that feature was. Okay. It's just, it's so good. Room of Requirement houses the vanishing cabinet that Draco Malfoy will eventually use to smuggle Death Eaters into the castle. Yep. Let's keep this train rolling. The hidden area above Professor Sharp's room can- This took me forever to find. Texture concept art. The staff room houses a wardrobe that will eventually contain the fog art- <gasps> Yes, Luke yes, uses to train yes. the class in Prisoner of Azkaban. Yep. 
the crystallized pineapple display in Honeydukes is a nod to Professor Slughorn's favorite candy. Chocolate frog packaging in our game is oh. different than modern day. A reference to a newspaper article in Newt's Commander's time talking about updated chocolate frog packaging. One stall in a certain bathroom has a potion. Yes, brew, yep. A clear nod yep. to Harry, Ron, and Hermione brewing yep. their polyjuice potion in a bathroom. That was the stall. first thought that frog came to my mind when I found it. Room? Check. You in the choir room. Requirement, too. In yep. the book, Sirius is held in the charms office. In the films, he's held in a tall tower. Hogwarts Legacy marries these ideas by creating a charms tower cell where the charms professor may hold a creature to practice difficult charms. I did charms come across it, but I didn't think of it quest, one parallel to Azkaban. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? It's a dog, isn't it? To learn the Avada Kedavra spell, Avada Kedavra! players need to trace a lightning bolt, <laughs> a symbol that will one day be etched into the On forehead. On the forehead. The I've never learned that spell, so that was something I never knew about. You can find Secrets of the Darkest Arts, the same book that Tom Riddle learns about Horcruxes from. Oh, if we could only remove the book now. In Hogwarts, there's a portrait yeah. of Wendelin the Weird, a witch who enjoyed being burned alive, using the flame freezing charm to survive the fire. Pardon me? Might I ask a favor of you? Saccharissa Tugwood, the one who used potions and earned fame on a chocolate frog card, her quest has you finding booba tubers to help spot Oh yeah, it does. And a Fun fact, this quest sent me into a fit of laughter. I think for five minutes I had to edit a good portion of laughter out because that's how bad it was. I was laughing at her name, but then it turns out that a lot of people in the comments actually inform me about this too. So this was not an Easter egg that I knew about like organically. So many people were telling me that Sacris of Tugwood's character is an actual lore character. I believe she is an author and I'm pretty sure he either just mentioned that or is about to mention that. But yeah, that was something I had no idea about. I just thought her name was really funny. According to her card, she discovered the pimple curing properties of booba tuber pus. Seems like you help her gain fame. The <laughs> hopping pot is a reference to the wizard and the hopping pot story from the tales of Beetle the Bard. Behind the groundskeeper's shed is a small memorial to Hagrid actor Robbie Coltrane. <gasps> sadly passed in the month. Oh, I didn't know that! I want to go visit it now. The visit to rescue Roland Oaks is designed after the castle from Hagrid's magical creatures motorbike adventure in Universal's Islands of Adventure in Orlando. The name Fear. I am so mad now because I literally was in Florida in Universal Studios, the amusement park. What What's today? June 7th? I, two weekends ago. Not this past weekend, the weekend before. And I couldn't ride that ride because when we finally hit up the line it was like an hour minimum wait and there was no way we only had so many hours that we could spend in the park that day anyway and i really didn't want to waste an hour of it in a line i wanted to hit as many rides as i could so unfortunately that was a ride that i never ever ever got to experience and i've never been on it like that was my chance and i missed it and it would have been portrayed in this game as well. Oh, it's fine. I'm totally upset about it. Your <laughs> glass is also Scottish for the green man on which Hagrid was based. Headmaster Black's house elf Scrope, who helped Slytherins locate the beheaded Richard Jackdaw, was named after Henry Scrope, third Baron Scrope of Masham, who was beheaded. Using transfiguration oh. on animals will change them into interesting objects. Alternatively, have you tried using- I never tried that. Yes, yes I have. Cow tipping, yup, yup, yup. I love you so did, but <laughs> All right, a couple same more effect. Ron related details. This was awesome too. In the too. your own business quest, the knight to h3 chess move is a reference to Ron's chess game in Philosopher's Stone. Knight to h3. Yes. I loved that when I found that. That, that was quest, amazing. Fastidio's name means nuisance in Italian. Also, sorry to cut him off. This quest. Oh man, it's well it, it's referred to as the haunted hogsmeade quest but it's also called minding your own business i believe it is a playstation 5 only exclusive quest i played this game on playstation 5 and it is still to this day one of the best quests in any game i've ever played it was so good not just because it fits super well in this game it was such a great standalone quest it was so well designed it was so scary i underestimated how scary i thought it was going to be i was like oh how scary could it be this is such a wholesome game it's set in hogwarts which is you know 
pretty wholesome and 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 like the vibe of this whole game throughout the the whole thing was super chill and cozy and i was like there's no way this is gonna have any jump scares and boy was i wrong i do hope you enjoy my playground i encourage you to tell everyone about it have you tried to cast spells while on cooldown yes your wand will spark and fail to cast yep. anything at all much like ron's broken wand in chamber of secrets that was a detail and too finally our last few you can find the book of admittance which magically mm -hmm. says which students are admitted to hogwarts near the headmaster's office during winter there are living snowmen in the open world try attacking them and melting them and using glacius on a melted snowman as an opportunity for exploration Never saw one. and discovery, there are 11 NPCs in the open world who each died in mysterious ways, with notes yep. that tell each of their unique stories. I remember so the chicken lady. Hmm. Yeah, I remember the chicken lady. And this skeleton seems like someone who hates snakes just as much as I do. <laughs> I top hat. It's a reference to a short line in Prisoner of Azkaban about a rabbit transfiguring to a top hat and back in the shop where Hermione goes to buy her pet. We also reference the jeweled tortoise shells mentioned in the same passage. And finally, our recently that. added arachnophobia mode doesn't just make awesome. spiders less scary, but does so in a lore-appropriate way. In the books, Ron's spider bogart loses its legs when he casts the bogart banishing spell. In the films, the spider bogart gets roller skates instead. Arachnophobia mode in Hogwarts Legacy makes the spiders legless with floating roller skates for feet. A brilliant blend of both. Ridiculous! And... When, I remember when they tweeted about that update, and I just remember reading it like, wow. I'm not one who's generally scared of spiders. I don't officially have arachnophobia or anything. But, I mean, the spiders in this game were still super creepy. I had a couple jump scare moments. But how awesome it was for them to not only incorporate an arachnophobia mode for people that just don't do spiders at all but the fact that they were able to do that in a lore appropriate way was absolutely mind-blowing and it makes me want to play through the entire game again with that mode on just so i can see that so i you have to commend them for that that was superb the fact whoever thought about that y'all need a raise <laughs> Not that I have the authority to say so, but just know that I'm thinking of it. <laughs> Whew. That may have been a lot of small details, Wizarding World references, and Easter eggs, yes. but it's certainly not everything. What? Have you come across even more that we didn't list here? You can search for them yourself in Hogwarts Legacy, now available on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. Is yep. that good? Is that... Are we done? Are we... We're done. Bye. Bye. <laughs> And there you have it, all the Easter eggs and details that probably they could remember because I'm sure they put so many in there. 74, those are probably baby numbers. But I'm trying to think of any that maybe they didn't cover that I remember. Nothing is coming to mind. And actually, I think every, every single one that I kind of mentioned in my intro... I think they hit all of it in this video too. They hit the book of admissions. They hit the death day party in the dungeons, which again, absolutely loved it. But there were also a lot that I just didn't pick up on because they were such small details that I just kind of figured that they were just there, that they weren't put there intentionally. But it's even cooler to know now that pretty much every single thing was intentional. Somebody sat down or a team of people sat down and picked apart every little thing from the books and the movies and they found out how to incorporate it into this game. But what's even worse <laughs> is now I just want to play the game again. But Miranda, you don't have time. Your backlog of video games is already so long. No, I know. I know. Don't remind me. I don't currently have time for a second playthrough, but when it does happen, because it will happen, I can guarantee you that I will be playing as a Slytherin. We break in bad. Mostly because I want to do the zigzag lightning bolt in the air just to learn Avada Kedavra. <laughs> I also, even though I did know about this, I did learn about this, but I want to see it for myself. I want to see the big squid arm come up and slap the window. But again, as someone who played through the entire game, I got 100% for all of the collectibles my first time through. It did blow my mind how they were able to bring one of my childhood dream places to life. Thank you for creating a masterpiece. Thank you for creating something so fun, 
so memorable and also just downright intelligent like the amount of references in it alone is enough that they could obviously make an entire video on it thank you so much for what you've done for this community thank you for always being so transparent with your updates and the news and i'm so glad now that the game is officially out for all of the previous generations thank you so much toby dogs am i right what can i say though he loves this game just as much as i do anyway i'm gonna end this here because i don't want to subject you to all of his barking thank you guys so much for watching this if you liked it make sure to subscribe like the video all the things all right thank you guys again so much have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you next time